registering Autodesk Stitcher is pretty straightforward, but we want to get an activation code, so make sure you select that button from this area up here. And then you're going to continue with the next button. And on the next page, we're going to need to create a user ID if you don't already have one on Autodesk. You want to fill out the form. It does ask you for a little bit of information here. Uh, please make sure you choose a password between 8 and 12 characters. That is important for Autodesk registration. And you can include optional information, which includes your phone number and or fax. And if you want to let them know what kind of business and work that you're in, if you're typically in real estate, real estate sales, they do have a section down here in the R's for real estate development, which is probably the closest thing for many of you registering the Autodesk product for Stitcher. So you'll select that, and then of course you'll continue with the next button. Next screen will ask you if you want to register as an individual or as a company. That's up to you. This screen lets you double check everything to make sure you've got all your information correct. And if it is, you'll hit the accept button. And this will bring you to the very last section of Autodesk Stitcher registration before it gets you your codes. And here you're going, obviously, we're going to create a brand new account. So we're obviously good. So we're going to click the next button here. And this takes a second or two, but this will now create your user account on the Autodesk Stitcher on Autodesk server. And when that process is complete, you'll end up getting some confirmation and activation codes. Now, you need to print this thing out and keep that in a safe place because we might need it if you ever have to reinstall your software product.